Well, are you getting dressed or what? Frederick, are you talking to me? We said everything. <sighs> don't blame me. I mean, I've been nothing but understanding. You don't help by patronizing me. I wasn't patronizing you. Your work is great. I mean, who cares what the critics think? That's easy for you to say. You get nothing but encouragement. You're just a little darling. Well, they're lenient with me, obviously, because I'm a woman. It's because you're so damn good. So are you. All right, I mean, the book didn't get the response that it deserved. I hate to tell you how often they've missed the boat. Well, stop lying to me. I count on you for honesty, not flattery. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. And who cares what anybody thinks? They think what I think. I work one show, promise, and I haven't been able to deliver. Simple as that. Your work is not fashionable, Frederick. You should be thankful for that, for God's sakes. I mean, what are you after? The, the superficial acclaim of some little book reviewer in some room somewhere? I mean, we've always talked about fine work that means something in the long run. I don't care about fine work. I don't want to wait 25 years to be appreciated. I want to be able to knock somebody over now. They're stricter with you because you attempt more. Don't you understand that? They refuse to take that into Stop consideration. Stop looking for excuses, all right? I'm not writing for a time capsule. They won't give me an inch. And half the stuff that's written is garbage. They praise sky high. The babysitter will be here in a minute. I told you I'm not going. We can't not go. What is the matter with you? I'm not in the mood for your lesbian friends and a lot of vacuous gossip about New York poetesses. Will you stop hitting yourself so much as nauseating. I'm going. Look, why can't you just once in a while consider my feelings and my needs? I'm sick of your needs. I'm tired of your idiosyncrasy and your competitiveness. I have my own problems. There'll be a lot of superficial chit-chat about the nature of poetry, your symbolism, your imagery, your contribution to whatever. We never see Marion and Gail. I don't understand. You used to like them. I can't stand them. They're so enthusiastic. College kids. I get embarrassed. Oh, well, don't get embarrassed. Don't come. Stay home and drink yourself unconscious. That's one of the cliches of being a novelist you've had no problem with. Yeah, I sure can drink. Oh, yes, you're fine as long as I keep everything going. What do you mean, keep everything going? You're talking about that check that arrives from Daddy every month so that you can write yourself into immortality? I also raised the family that you wanted or the family that you thought you wanted. Hey, you made some noises about experiencing motherhood. I'm sure you thought it was great potential raw material. Well, now you got another human being, three of us. It wasn't my idea, and I'm not ashamed to be subsidized either. I turned things out. Yeah, you do. You turn things out, you're incredible. Frederick. Frederick, you have so much to offer. I want to help, not hurt. I can't go out there. I, I, I'm not in the mood. I'm liable to kill somebody. I'm going. Oh, you look deep in thought. <laughs> I'm deep in vodka. Do you help me get my boots off? It's the best offer I had all year. I paid 200 bucks for these boots and they kill my feet. <laughs> I did a terrible thing last week. I wrote about this friend's book, not a very good book. And I pointed that out, which is what I was getting paid to do. But I was extremely cruel about it. And I took great pleasure in my cruelty. My anger scares me. I don't like what I'm become. I happen to think you're a very impressive person. Oh, 
I think you have a very impressive feet. And I happen to think you're very drunk. Come on. Not yet. Yes. Thank you. Frederick, you're drunk. Come on. You're always flirting with me. No. Yes. You flirt. You like to be looked at. Otherwise, you don't exist. Except in somebody else's eyes. Mm -hmm. Stop it, Frederick. You're drunk. Oh, I'm celebrating. You've got a new mother. She's a hot number. <laughs> Can't you feel the heat? Come on. It's been such a long time since I made love to a woman that I didn't feel inferior to. Or am I being tactless? Come on. Come on. 